morning guys welcome back to another vlog i just got back from the gym i also wanted to show you guys i know in the last vlog i i got those lamps from i mean those bulbs my arm is so weak i need to put you guys here i know in the last vlog i showed you guys that we went to to game to get those light bulbs uh, i'm not sure if you guys can see the difference in the um, like how warm this like this bulb is it's like orange and the one that i showed you guys in the previous video it wasn't like this so i went to builders and then i saw that they had those like orange bulbs i'm gonna show you guys the um, i'm gonna show you a clip here i'm gonna insert a clip because i wasn't vlogging when i went there and i saw those little bulbs i'm not sure if you guys remember them but i remember at home like like a very long time ago at home we had like green bulbs in one of the rooms i don't know why but we had a green like bulb uh, i think it was in this color and i always felt like those bulbs look like like they look weird but i went to builders and then i saw they had them i think they have the small the small one the one that we have here is one watt and i think it was 30 something rands that's the bulb i got i changed them so yeah now they are orange they're not like that warm yellow they are orange now and i'm really really happy with how it looks i think it looks amazing they also have like the bigger size which i think it has seven watts i would highly recommend like that getting this one because i feel like if it has more watts it's not gonna be as it's gonna be too bright so you won't be able to like I don't know i just feel like for for side lamps you don't want it to be too bright um i also got the red one because when i went to the builders in midran they didn't have um the the orange one so i got the red one and i thought it was gonna be like what i had in mind and i wasn't happy with it it looked like 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 we we're performing some sort of ritual in this room <laughs> it was so bad i wasn't happy with it but this one i really love it so yeah this is the orange one they also have different colors they also have blue i think they also have green yellow and red and orange yeah but yeah i wanted the orange one and yeah this is how it looks like i'm so happy with it i really really love it like it pops like i'm really really happy it doesn't look like your normal yellow warm bulbs it looks different like i feel like if someone walks into this room the, like the first thing they notice is the bulbs obviously the bed because the frame is really nice but what i want to do now is to add like a little vintage wall not wall i'd like a, a little vintage portrait here i'm gonna go to like try and find those at the, um, those antique stores i saw one um at the antique store here in midran but it was quite expensive so i'm gonna go and check again i'll start at kalami and see if they have anything i want like something something small because i think it will look nice on this side on the side of the um, of the wall and i've been also thinking about like i know my boyfriend is gonna hate me for this but i feel like if we paint the entire room and it becomes like a blue like a blue room it will look really really nice because if i add that painting here like i don't know i just feel like the wall like the white wall and that painting because i wanted to have um i want those paintings like those vintage ones that have like um the brass gold frames i want those so i don't know how it's gonna look with the like next to them on the white wall so yeah i've been thinking about like painting the entire room but i'm gonna think about it because i feel like the, the um the portrait will pop if i paint the entire like if i paint this side but obviously i can't just paint the side of the wall and not just do the entire room but yeah i'll think about it um actually i'm gonna go on pinterest and see if they have like um something similar to what i, I want to do so that i can have like um, a picture in my mind i do have a picture in my mind but i'm not sure if i'm 100 sure with that picture in my mind so yeah anyway i'm gonna go and shower and actually i want to make a cup of coffee first um yeah let me show you guys what i'm talking about this is the side that i'm talking about oh i also got my nails done i really love them i got the same thing my nail tech was asking me why i'm always getting the same thing but i really really love this i just feel like it's bait like it's simple but it's also not basic so yeah i really love it and you guys know i love green so i thought i should go back to this i've done this before i think i have a picture on my on my instagram 
but yeah i really really love this and i also love the length it's short so yeah it's just practical i really really love these nails and i got my nails done i always get my nails done now at um at even board i'm gonna write their instagram here you guys can check them out they're really really good i want to get the portrait here that vintage portrait here and i like i don't want it to be big so i want it to be like maybe i don't know i can't draw it for you guys but i just i wanted to like i still want to have space on the sides um obviously we have this curtain here but i want it to be here in the center and i think it will look nice imagine if it was like next to this um like on this wall it would pop like for example this this frame i mean this um this gold pops um next to this wall compared to if you if i look at it from this side next to this wall i'm not sure if you guys get what i mean but um yeah i've been thinking about it i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it we still have the um, the leftover paint that we used for the accent wall and also now you guys can clearly see what i was um what i was talking about when i said um the design on the um, on the on the shade is now more visible and i think it looks so nice like i don't have to like to decrease the exposure or to show you guys on my phone now you can see the design on the um, on the on, on the um, of the shade I think it looks amazing i'm really really happy with this um with this bulb this is how it looks like it's so tiny but it does the job like it does exactly what i wanted to do i'm so happy you guys can clearly see now everything like the design the trees the flowers the birds ah, it's so so stunning i'm so happy with it i'm really really happy okay i'm gonna go now and make myself a cup of coffee and i will see you guys i think i'll see you guys when we get ready to go for my wax
So I got my hair done. I decided to do cornrows. I felt like if I get that silk press, it wasn't gonna last because the weather is not great. I wanna go and get a matcha, a cup of matcha, and then um, we wanna go to. I wanna go to like a few stores because I'm looking for the um, I'm looking for a portrait form that I told you guys about. Um, I'll try and see if I can find it. If I can't find it, it's fine. I'm not in a rush. I can wait. I've been thinking about getting a, a coffee machine, but the one I want um, is so expensive. I don't know how I'm going to get it. It's super, super expensive. But I want that one from Smack. I think the one from Smack is really nice. It looks amazing. Um, the size is also perfect. So I'm going <sighs> to... I'm not gonna buy it now because obviously it's quite expensive i don't know how many months i'm gonna have to save to get that one because it's i think it's fifteen thousand rands if not more or was it 18 i know it's not above 20 but i really want that one from smag it's so cute i love coffee but i drink basic coffee and the thing i love the most is matcha uh so i've been trying to make my own matcha and uh, i like i've honestly given up now because i feel like it's not as nice as the one they make at tavida la cafe so even the one from mug and bean it was so it was the best match i've seen how they make like how they make it um at vida la cafe so i'm thinking that i should try it so the only way for me to try it is to get the coffee machine because they use the one that has that nozzle i'm not sure what it's called is it a nozzle I don't know but it's that frothing thing i don't know what it's called so i need to get a, a coffee machine that has that but i really love that one from smag that one from nespresso i think it was eight thousand rands the one from smag is so expensive but it looks amazing another thing i didn't like about that one from nespresso is that it's silver so i want to get a cream or beige so that like it matches with my kitchen because <laughs> it's so big so i'm not gonna be able to put it in like inside the cupboard so i need it to be beautiful and match the aesthetic of the kitchen and the colors and everything so i need to get like a nice looking one so that one from smag it's the best i'm gonna insert it here you guys will see i spent so much money on matcha so i might as well just get a coffee machine so that i can make my own and not have to buy um to buy it every day because sure my boyfriend is so tired of me from like i always ask him to get me matcha uh but yeah i'm gonna go and get my last cup of the week i'm not gonna buy it tomorrow i'm making a promise to myself i'm not gonna buy matcha tomorrow
guys so we just got back from um we went to quite a few different places <gasps> i just want to show you guys quickly this is the art piece we got i am so happy with it i just put it on top of this um paper bag from h&m home because it's quite dirty because it's very old so we got it from the antique store in Kailami. i will leave the description i mean i'm gonna leave all the details of the store in the description box so if you guys are interested you can check them out they are quite affordable we got this one for 400 rands and guys how beautiful is this i'm i'm really happy with this I went to that store where i got those lamps from and that store is quite expensive to be honest because the art pieces that we saw they were like 12,500 rands and that is ridiculous like I don't have that kind of money like that is so expensive so we ended up going to the um, we ended up going to the vintage store that I've also I think I've shown you guys I've, I've been there before and I think I did vlog I think I was looking for I was looking for a bench or something but I found blue mm -mm. They had like so many different like beautiful ones it was so hard to choose but i knew that i wanted like those old looking ones those like um those ones with the thick frame because that's the one i ended up getting they also had another one which i also really really love but that one was quite small this one was only 400 rands guys only 400 rands so beautiful guys it is ah, how stunning sorry blue <laughs> how stunning please ignore this I'm so happy with this. I'm happy that I went there. And can you guys see how big this is? I really, really love it. So I, I, I was looking for something with this thick frame um, because I think this will look nice, um, like next to, like on the wall. Even though I, I don't know. I think we'll hang it first and see if I'm really happy with the, um, with the white wall. But I think the colors would pop really nice if. Um, like the colors would pop much like much better if the wall is always painted like the same accent wall because i think it looks like it looks really nice here i love this like brass type of gold i really really love it so yeah i'm really really happy with this the artist is ross brenner brenner and this was made in 1999 so yeah i really love it oh, it's so beautiful and also it's not perfect let me just show you guys it's not perfect you can see that it's like it's quite old um it has these in scratches here so you can see that this like has been loved and um it's been used like so many times so yeah i'm really really happy with it i'm so happy the bag is pretty messed up but it's fine what matters is the front oh, it's so beautiful and it's something different and it fits the room so well I really love it. I'm so happy. Ah, I'm so happy. I was worried about the size, but I think it's perfect. I love it so much. Before I end this vlog, I want to quickly show you guys the stuff that I got from H&M, H&M Home. I, I went there yesterday. I got two beautiful, I got a sculptural piece and I got this beautiful vase. I've waited so long. I think they had it. A few months ago but i was late so when i got there it was already sold out i think you guys can still get it i guys might still remember this vase like the, not the same one but i have something more similar but it's quite big um 
so this is the vase i got guys how stunning is this vase i'm sure you guys still remember that other one that i have i'm going to insert the picture so i think they're from the same family because i remember when i went to buy that other one um i also asked for this one and they told me that it sold out uh so i had to wait and they finally they finally restored so yeah i was so happy when i saw it yesterday i had to get it i really really love it this is just like a decorative piece you don't have to use it as a vase so you don't really have to put anything in here you can if you want but you can just use it as like a, a little decorative piece i love it like you can put it on top of your your side table your sideboard if you have like um a small room and you don't want to use huge lamps instead you can just use this um vase you can put like little sticks in here or if you're a fan of pampas grass you can use pampas grass uh and put it here and i think this is stunning it's very different and the shape is beautiful i really really love it so yeah i think it was it was 229 at h&m home yeah i really i really love it you guys know how much i love collecting these i feel like you can never have enough because i love changing things around the next one i got so this is the the next piece i got also from h&m home i think i want to put it um i'm not sure if it's going to be too big but i think i'm going to try to put it like on the tv stand and see if it doesn't um block the tv but i really really love it i think it's something you should grab even if you're not sure like where to put it because it's so beautiful i feel like pieces like this they last for like a very long time it's something that you can reuse like and decorate with it in so many ways and in different like areas around the house so i think it's really really like it's so stunning i love that you can even hold it like this like it's so beautiful it's not a vase so it's just a sculptural piece i really love it i love this the shape I, I don't even know what it's called but it's just this irregular shape i really really i love this so much it's the same at the back and yeah this one was 350 so they also had like quite a few of these so if you guys are interested you can get it from h&m home i know on camera it looks like it's heavy it's not heavy and it's not white it's like this cream this cream color it's stunning it's like um what is this it doesn't feel like ceramic it feels like plaster yeah it feels like plaster it's so stunning it's something different so yeah that is basically all i wanted to show you guys i think i'm gonna end this vlog now i'm so hungry i hope you guys enjoyed and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll see you guys on my next one bye